This last week, the Supreme Court made just the latest in a series of decisions over the last three decades that tell us that the rights of corporations are more important than women's bodily autonomy, their right to decide when they start families, when they continue those families, and decisions over very basic health care. The fact is that in this country, women have to rely on insurance in order to have access to, to birth control, to contraception, and to abortions. And what this ruling does is it allows religious fanaticism on the part of corporate bosses to determine what kind of health care women are allowed to access. It's absolutely vital for women to be able to have control over their own bodies in order to be equal participants in a democratic society. And the Supreme Court decision in relation to Hobby Lobby is just the latest in a series of legislation and, dis and, court, and you know, court decisions that I would call part of a war on women that is intent on attacking all of the gains that we've made in this country over the last 40 and 45 years. So I'm here today both to raise awareness about what the Hobby Lobby decision means for women in this city and women in this country, but also to try to get people to come together and stand against this kind of preference for corporate welfare over women's health care. This is just a slew of attacks um, from the right wing on women in the recent years. I mean, this is just one of them. Um, and so we really want to begin to rebuild, stay in the streets, because um, that's really where movements and change takes place, is with women and our allies uh, in the streets, putting pressure on the bosses and corporations uh, to change and for us to demand our rights. Look, religious liberty means you can hold whatever beliefs you like, you can pray in whatever church you want, and I fully support everyone doing that. The problem is that when people take their religious beliefs to be able to contravene basic human liberties, we're no longer in the realm of religious freedom. We're now in the realm of religious fanaticism. We are now in the realm where some other individual's religious beliefs are allowed to dictate mine. That's not consistent with liberty in any way, shape, or form. Women's rights in general, I mean, any the civil rights, uh, any rights, but especially the women's rights in 1970s, were not won because of the Supreme Court handing them to us. Women were in the streets and our allies were fighting uh, to get those rights. And that's what we have to continue to do to take back the rights that are ours and continue to fight for the rights that are ours. I believe in workers' rights, women's rights, and I think it's really ridiculous that this decision is cloaking itself in religious freedom when all it is is limiting women's choices. So I feel like it's really important to speak out, be visible, let people know that you're upset and like you're not going to accept this. So it's disappointing and it's disheartening and it's frustrating. But for me at least, this just strengthens my resolve that we have a lot to do and when we band together, we can win. So people forget that, for example, you know, the women's right to vote, women's right to have birth control in the first place, Roe v. Wade, all of these things happened after massive feminist organization and struggle. And what we're seeing right now, and part of, I think, the disheartening feeling is that there isn't a, a large enough feminist movement. And so my response is, let's go out and create one. Like, are the women that fought for these rights in the 60s and the 70s, they knew that banding together, doing grassroots activism, and standing out in the streets defending our rights is the way to make change in this country. It's not going to happen in boardrooms. It's not going to happen in the Supreme Court. It's not going to happen in the State House. And it's sure as hell not going to happen in Congress. Where it is going to happen is right here on the street. Stand up like that! Stand up like that!